Hey, digital investors, welcome back to another video where we go over everything that is going on inside of the crypto space. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. Uh, this video is probably going to be much quicker than usual, so probably on the short side. Uh, we're going to start off here with Visa crypto cards have racked up $1 billion in spending in 2021. So we're going to get started. If you guys could also do me a favor and tap the like button, it really does help a ton to push this video in the YouTube algorithm. Also helps me to know that you guys are enjoying the content. And with that said, we're going to start off. So Visa's crypto related cards saw a billion dollars of spending activity in the first half of 2021. And the company announced this on Wednesday. The billion dollar mark isn't entirely made up of consumer spending cryptocurrency. Some transactions are tied to fiat accounts, but result in crypto rewards. Some are indeed crypto transactions. The payments giant didn't provide a breakdown. And I remember back, I don't know, months ago, many months ago, when we were first seeing this before it was actually implemented and we're seeing the rewards you're like you know as as crypto becomes mainstream why would people not get the crypto rewards because the crypto rewards for the most part are more right you're getting a larger reward plus you're getting the appreciation of the asset itself that you're earning whether that be bitcoin or you know any any crypto that that you're getting rewards from the company's crypto card program is part of a larger push that visa is making to merge the world of crypto with traditional banks that includes adding stable coins to visa's payment networks and plugging banks into cryptocurrency buy and sell features uh, the head of crypto at Visa says, we think the first piece of this is being the bridge between the crypto wallets and our existing network of merchants. Then the next part is making it easier for our clients to issue and interact with those cards with things like being able to settle USDC. Then we're starting to spend a lot of time around how Visa can be a bridge between our existing network of financial institutions and the crypto, in, uh, sorry, the crypto ecosystem. Now guys, that is pretty crazy right visa bridging the crypto ecosystem with financial institutions visa itself acting as a bridge i mean this is absolutely insane stuff right here we have this which is also pretty insane ufc inks 175 million dollar crypto deal it's the largest sponsorship ever this is a sponsorship with crypto.com so the ufc signed a 10-year 175 million partnership with crypto currency marketplace crypto.com this is the biggest sponsorship in the promotions history crypto.com will be ufc's first ever global fight kit partner meaning its branding will appear on the uniform of every ufc fighter who steps into the octagon <laughs> i mean think about that guys imagine every single ufc fighter stepping in has crypto.com on their shorts i mean come on and it goes beyond just the shorts we'll we'll continue reading this article the partnership begins this weekend with conor mcgregor the world's highest paid athlete and dustin uh poirier i don't know how to pronounce his last name in las vegas this is the ufc coo if we had talked a couple of years ago crypto might not have been on the radar but it's sort of a sign of the times right just like this too right with a uh, visa saying they're going to be the bridge between the existing financial institu uh, institution and uh the crypto ecosystem i mean a couple of years ago uh, this would have been like a joke right but now it, this this is the stuff that is actually happening anyways coming back over to here if we scroll down a bit they say there's an overlap between mma fans and crypto enthusiasts ufc was particularly drawn to the overall demo of the crypto.com users and this is what they say in general that consumer is younger and based upon the data that we have seen that consumer also has a fair amount of discretionary income it's an attractive group to try to get interested in your product as part of the deal crypto.com has committed to also working with individual UFC athletes and in addition to the fight kits so again going beyond just the crypto.com uh, on their shorts crypto.com will be visible on the apparel fighters wear in their walkouts and in the clothing of people in their corner it will also appear on the octagon canvas during all pay-per-view events and during Dana White's contender series and it will be integrated into UFC's broadcasts and social channels so pretty much crypto is just going to be everywhere all over the ufc crypto.com its sports portfolio includes right now it includes the ufc but crypto.com is not only just sparked up deals with the ufc they also have the canadians formula one in a partnership with italy's Serie a so that is pretty pretty cool congratulations to crypto.com 
congratulations to the UFC because they are going to pump our bags. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Now, we also have this. Lizard, I mean, Elizabeth Warren gives SEC July 28th deadline to figure out crypto regulation. So this is the deadline for July 28th, which is 20 days away. The senator said in a letter to the SEC chair, Gary Gensler, that she needs answers by July 28th. Despite the rising popularity of crypto, a lack of common sense regulations has left ordinary investors at the mercy of manipulators and fraudsters. The SEC must use its full authority to address these risks, and Congress must also step up to close these regulatory gaps. So we have that July 28th. We will see what happens July 28th. Honestly, it seems like if the SEC would just stay out of things, everything would run a lot smoother. But uh, I guess this is the nature of what it is. Here, I have a poll. I put this poll out a day ago. 675 votes. If you could only invest in one, what is your move? I put XRP, XLM, XDC. I was originally just going to put these three, and I was like, you know what? Let me just add Bitcoin into the mix. And believe it or not, we actually got some interesting results. So 66% of people, if they could only invest in one, would put it into XRP. We had a tie of 5% between XLM and XDC and BTC at 24%. Pretty cool stuff. If you guys want to go and vote on this poll, if we get a drastic change, but we probably won't. If we get a drastic change, I'll update it or let me know in the comments below if you could only invest in one, what would be your move? Again, XRP, XLM, XDC, or BTC. And here we have big money buying Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Polkadot, Cardano, and Bitcoin Cash as crypto fund inflows return. So let's check this out. CoinShare says there's a potential shift in sentiment among crypto investors as inflows return to the markets. In a new report, CoinShares tracks tens of millions of dollars that's now flowing into crypto funds after a lengthy hiatus. They say for the first time in five weeks, digital asset investment products saw inflows totaling 63 million last week. And for the first time in nine weeks, inflows were seen across all individual digital assets, implying a turnaround in sentiment among investors. All right, so couple that with the Bitcoin whale addresses expanding, right? Those are getting larger. I really don't see how people think that uh, this bull market is over. Uh, I mean, I, I, me personally, I just really don't see it. Uh, I, I, again, I, I am of the sentiment that we are halfway through. Roughly. What, what I mean by that is I think that there is another leg up to be had. I don't think we have reached the blow off top a phase of the market and now we have entered into a multi-year bear market i think we are mainly just going through a reaccumulation and this data keeps coming out that kind of points towards that uh, according to CoinShares, investors are primarily interested in Bitcoin investment products followed by Ethereum. They say that Bitcoin saw the most inflows totaling 39 million with minor updates to the previous week's data, highlighting a two week run of inflows now, while Ethereum following three weeks of outflows saw inflows totaling 18 million. And here's the flows by asset that they put out. You guys can uh, take a look at this as I go over this. Other altcoins are also getting the attention of investors. Emerging blockchain platform Cardano witnessed inflows of two 2.10 million, while XRP saw an influx of capital worth 1.20 million. Interoperable blockchain protocol Polkadot and Bitcoin Cash are also on the radar of investors with 700,000 and 400,000 worth of inflows. So here is these inflows from Bit. They go over Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Ripple, Polkadot, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Cardano, Stellar. So if any of you guys want to take a look at this, go ahead, pause the video. Our fear and greed index for today is sitting in extreme fear at 20. And let's check out some of these crypto prices. We have Bitcoin 32,000, Ethereum 2,100, Cardano is at a dollar and 30 cents, XRP at 62 cents. So for the most part, we're a bit down compared to yesterday. Let's see, we have Dogecoin at 21 cents, DOT is at $15, Uniswap at $20, Bitcoin Cash at 496. Let's see if we have any big movers for today, anything up big. So up big for today, we have 19% on Titan Swap, 15% on Stacks, 9% on Icon, Theta Fuel up 3.8%, but nothing too big, nothing too, too crazy. And with that said, guys, that is the video for today. I told you guys this is probably gonna be a quicker one than usual. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you tap the like button. Also make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I put out a video. And with that said, guys, I will see you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody.